I am here in Brooklyn right now. I'm a L'Oreal professional artist, Brooklyn-based stylist, and the creator and owner of Crux. And today what we are going through is the crux of your work. So the, uh, the name Crux itself stands for a pivotal or decisive turning point in a process. And what we're doing today is we are exploring our creativity outside of, but relating to behind the chair. And what we're working on right now is we are setting this mannequin, this hair. We're using some hot rollers today. Uh, the mannequin was prepped, so L'Oreal Professionals Techni Art is my line of choice. And we prepped her with Volume Envy Extra, which is the, the biggest thickening mousse, mousse that the brand has. It has a lot of grip, a lot of tenacity to it. It's really nice. So as we're building this texture and kind of creating different shapes today, we're spraying each section with Infinium 4. So this is great because it's allowing us to have some memory to the hair. It has a little bit more hold, but it's not a finality product. It doesn't keep things exactly where they are. It's gonna have some movement to it. So we're working with hot rollers today. And the reason for that is we've seen texture, curl, different formations come into play a lot lately. And one of the things that I find working backstage or on set is time is always of the essence. So these are gonna be giving us a lot more texture, a lot more curl pattern. Hello everybody, welcome, welcome. We're just building some texture into it and with these hot rollers, they heat up quickly and it doesn't take the same amount of time that a curling iron can. Plus the biggest benefit is that they stay hotter longer. So we're gonna set these in the hair that's already prepped with Techniart using Infinium 4 right before we set it. and we are using these hot rollers to build the curl. So I wanna speak a little bit about the L'Oreal Professional Academy. The crux of your work and what we're focusing on today is all about getting outside of what we're normally doing. You know, never, I feel, never before in the history of our generation or our recent past, the hairdressers had so many expectations on us. And our clients know more than ever. They come to us with all this quote unquote knowledge of hairstyles, TikTok styles, haircuts, whatever it may be. And we are expected to work faster, smarter. What's up, Jeffrey? Good to see you, man. Uh, we're expected to work faster, smarter, harder, keep a better schedule, be therapists, have all of this knowledge, stay on top of trends, stay on top of social media trends, be a social media person for ourselves, carry a business, and then on top of that, be creative. So the class that we're offering April 18th in 2022 at the L'Oreal Professional Academy is called The Crux of Your Work. And it is all about exactly what we're doing today. So in taking these hot rollers, our goal is to be very playful today. We're creating a texture and shape. Even though I get the opportunity to work on set do many editorials, kind of work in that pushing the boundaries element. We're just creating texture and we're gonna create a really cool shape with this later. So we're gonna let this sit. But again, for those of you just joining, welcome to the crux of your work. My name is Drew Schaefering here based in Brooklyn, New York, L'Oreal professional artist. And we are gonna be playing with this texture that was prepped with Volume NV Extra from Techniart, L'Oreal professional. The extreme hold mousse, a lot of tenacity, a lot of polymers. And now we're going to get into a quick haircut and some styling that I find is really relatable to behind the chair. Um, as I was saying, one of, my one of the benefits of getting to work backstage and on set is you really have to work very quickly. Usually the most common complaint from everybody is that the hairstylist takes too long. So you have to kind of know where to go. So we were speaking a little bit before about expectations. And as I take a profile parting through this hair, the expectations that are on us are greater than ever before. And we are expected to be creative, keep a business, do all of these things. So in the crux of your work, we're gonna kind of define what is your work and what is that differentiation that makes you who you are. Welcome UK, 
Welcome everybody, Long Beach, what's up? How's everybody doing today? Whether night, nor morning, evening, noon, whatever, welcome. So one of the biggest trends that we're seeing in our industry right now is the heavily layered area through the face, whether we leave the length in the back or on the sides, and how do we approach it differently for each client? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a diagonal back parting from the second curvature of the head to the top of the ear. We're gonna isolate that on both sides and this is gonna be our face framing. So this is something that I'm finding that is a great setup to the beginning of my haircuts. Now, one of my first mentors in the industry, right as I was joining L'Oreal Professional 12, 12 and a half years ago, always said that you can start a haircut anywhere in the face or on the head and end up with the same result once you know what you're doing. The hardest part about that is really kind of seeing and understanding hair. Welcome from Ireland. Karen, short hair, does that mean you want short hair? Because we're gonna do some short hair in the crux of your work on April 18th, 2022. I don't even know what year it is right now. So we're gonna start and everything's gonna be built off the face framing. We normally start haircuts where? In the very back. So we're gonna drag the shortest piece in the center over to the side. And we're gonna cut it at about hollow of the cheekbone. We're then gonna drag all of the hair. We're gonna push the head back away from us, which is gonna lower our elevation. And of course, I'm using the Crux comb today, being the creator and owner of Crux. I felt a need in the industry for a bigger connection to the tools that we use. And I'm working on continuously bringing the essentials to us. So we're working from this bottom corner here. We're working with our existing length and I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna cut up to that short piece I just created. Notice I'm not following my finger angle. Visually laying that line in. So if we retrace what we just did there, we're gonna take all of that hair down and refine that angle going up. The key here is to have hair between our fingers and our scissors right there to keep that corner. Most of us do this and this is okay. We come in and we cut and we drag in between our hands and our head, or hands in the head, but the hard part is that if our scissors are horizontal, they're gonna go this way. The whole purpose of starting the haircut in the front is shifting how we work. So in the crux of your work and defining who you are as an artist and in getting creative outside of our day-to-day -day busy schedules, especially with the holidays coming up, how do we choose to work as an artist? And we're taking a little piece from the opposite side, matching it to that length. And in the class, we're gonna kind of explore different alternate routes and options of creating our work. So right now, we're starting with where most people end haircuts. We're starting with the very front. And I always found it to be hard how do we start a haircut in the back every time when most of our clients are more particular about the length at the front? So again, by dragging all of this hairline hair across into the center, cutting up, keeping that arrow of hair between my fingers and the scissors, we're keeping that corner. Now our base for our front and our face framing is cut. So for those of you just joining us, welcome. My name is Drew Schaefer, Brooklyn-based hairstylist here in the studio, L'Oreal professional artist, working with Techniart products today. We already have set a mannequin with some hot rollers to build some curl and texture and shape. And we're gonna continue to build that up in just a second. What's up, Susie, how you doing? So as we continue working this face frame shape, I'm talking to my client about how they're styling their hair day to day. One of the biggest things that I'm finding, give me a shout out and let me know if you guys are finding the same thing. Clients are either wanting a complete polished look again or they're wanting absolutely nothing. The beach wave trend is still in, but it's on the way out. So it's more about how can we give clients better hair with doing less or giving them the full Monty. And as I'm dragging this hair towards the face, cutting my perimeter that I've already laid in around the face, the outside of my comb is sweeping, making a C shaping and I'm laying my palm flat. And you can see I'm cutting that baseline around the face framing up to my shortest point, which we already established at the beginning. 
So that's keeping, let me erase her a little bit for us. That's keeping the, the corner and the density in that corner when so often we are stuck losing that corner. This mannequin's not doing that, okay. Let's do this instead. Close up for you guys one second. There we go. All right. So we're keeping this corner by working from the bottom up. Now, the hair above the round of the head is always heavier when we work at a lower elevation. Why? Because it has to fall downhill before it gets cut. So it's at a heavier, heavier spot. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna go in and soften that. So as we cut and refine everything that's left over in the front half of the head, we're gonna take the fringe section, which is above the round of the head. We're just gonna take and elevate that. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. Come on, girl, stay with me. So we're gonna elevate this hair. It was cut at a zero elevation. We're gonna elevate this and all of that hair past my guide that you see right there is excess. We don't need that. We're gonna follow the guide angle that's cut down here. So we're working with an inverted opposite. So it was cut here. It's now up here. That's gonna soften. There we go. That's gonna soften that significantly. Now we're building the client's haircut from their face shape. And again, going back to the crux of your work, that's what we are today. That's the class that we're offering April 18th next year. And it's all about how do you find not only your inspiration, but how do you change how you work for your clients? Love that tip, thank you, Dana. So again, we're taking this spot that was cut at a zero elevation, so above the round of the head, all of this hair is gonna be really heavy when it's cut down here. We're taking this hair, bringing it all the way up. Everything that's past my little shadowed line, it's not a hard line because it was cut at a zero elevation, we're gonna cut that off. We're softening that face framing. Now this is the salon speed I work with. What's up, Matthew, how you doing, brother? We're gonna work salon speed. I'm gonna take diagonal back sections and just follow that same guide. And here's the cool part. We can take and follow the shortest guide and cut stronger, shorter layers into the shape, or we can back off and use a point that's lower on the face frame and work with shorter layers, which gives us a softer angle. Today, we're gonna to go for it. So we're gonna elevate this up using that shortest point, and we're just gonna keep working Diagonal back. So section one came to section two. Now section three is gonna come into section two so that we gradually build up a slight bit of length and weight towards the back. So I'm working on a diagonal back in front of the radial, pushing towards the front, finger angles matching the hair that was cut in the previous section and I'm distributing it towards that section so that we get a little bit more length and build up away from the face. So it's just two sections, three sections in the front half of the head. I'm gonna stand in front of her for this side because it's easier on my body. Hello from Oklahoma, what's good Midwest? I'm from St. Louis myself, although I'm here in Brooklyn now. All right, so I'm bringing section two to one. There's our guide, everything above that, gotta go. Split that, section three is gonna to go to section two. Now, what if we wanted shorter layers around the face and longer layers towards the back? Simple, direct everything towards section one and keep a stationary guide. Check for balance, our lengths are good. Front half of the head is cut and we have just now focused, starting where we normally finish haircuts. Now we started this haircut, for those of you that are just watching, we're gonna get back to, or just joining, we're gonna get back to our roller set in a second. But we've just created a look for our client based off of where our clients look in the mirror and they say, I want my length here. It's not always easy to start in the back, work your way forward, and then decide where do the layers start. So as the crux of our work here, it's a decisive turning point in the process. Our process was to start in the front because that's what was most important. We know if we have A to get to B, to get to C, to get to D, we can start with C to D to B to A. 
We can work forwards and backwards. And it's a beautiful part of learning more about how hair works. So we're taking a little bit of our guide from the front in front of the radio. And this is how I'm approaching the majority of my haircuts here at the salon at Rob Paytum in Williamsburg. This is how I'm working in a lot of my workshops on the road for L'Oreal Professionnel. And we're gonna get back to some of the texture and the creative work in our creative process of breaking free from all the expectations and normal stuff that we are confined to doing right now. Because when you start to change the way you look at things, they start to change. And when we start to get more creative and we just experiment and play and figure different things out, even if it has nothing to do with directly how we're gonna work with our clients in the chair, we're gonna learn new things. And I call that collecting dots. Thank you for the angled cut and over directing forward. You're welcome, Diana. I'm glad you liked it. Megan, Renee, how are you? So I'm working in the back half of the head and I'm directing it to each previous section forward. So we gradually get slightly longer towards the back. The more hair travels before it's cut, the more it travels after it's cut. I prefer face framing first, the rest follows. I feel you, Aisha. I totally feel you. And that's the crux of our work. Where are we starting? We can always start with what's tried and true and what we know to be true. And what we also know is that there are certain haircuts that need to start in the back. You know, like a strong graduated bob. We, we have to start that in the back usually to get that to sit in right. So I'm not finishing the, the left or her right back corner, taking from the center back section. Brazil, welcome, welcome. All the way to my previous section and I'm gonna have less and less to cut off here because I'm getting longer and longer. So if we take a look at this side with what we've just done, we've just created this beautiful long layered with some inverted layering, softening the weight, creating a lot of movement. So I'm gonna finish this other side quickly and we are going to get into how to style this. So I said earlier, Right after we set the hot rollers on our other mannequin that we're gonna get back to, I said earlier how more and more clients are wanting something that is low maintenance or extremely polished. They're kind of tired of the usual beach waves and that's just to be expected, right? Trends come and go. And although the beach wave affects the cool girl hair is gonna be around, our clients are gonna to continue to change. So as I'm working with clients day to day, I'm using my, my background in editorial and fashion to my advantage. So if we think in terms of like an emotion with a haircut, and that's part of the crux of my work as, as Drew, as an artist, there's an emotional connection to what I do. You know, a lot of us have inspiration from so many different places. And when, what we're gonna talk about more at the Academy at L'Oreal Professional in Soho next year, on April 18th, is how do we take that inspiration and make it useful for our work day to day? We're seeing more. No one wants to work, but they want to look like they did. Yes, Susie, completely, totally agree with that. So we're seeing this gradient, sleek, smooth polish, very high finish, or absolutely nothing and look great. How can we as hairstylists up up level or level up the amount of specialty that we give our, our clients. Each client's special, especially in their own ways, right? But how can we give them something that's special and unique for them? Thank you for saying most of my clients want volume but not hot tools. Yeah, Nahi, I think you're totally right. You know, especially hot tools, given the fact that they do so much damage to hair, there's a, a strong number of clients that don't want to continue doing that. So we just did that haircut in a few minutes. I don't even know what time it is at the moment. Okay, so we're gonna keep working this and I'm gonna show you how I work with my clients on their blow dry because products is usually not an option, it's usually a necessity. And we're gonna take some of the Transformer Texture by Techniart, it's a gel to mousse cream. We're gonna take a decent amount of it right here. We're gonna go from the ends up to the scalp. And so this has a very soft, lightweight texture to it. 
Now we're gonna work some of it in the crown. We're working from the ends up because it's going to give a little bit more movement. And I'm gonna show my clients how they can just apply this. You know, if we start to show our clients how they can create something very minimally, whether it's now let it air dry, diffuse, or how can we power dry it and get it really, really nice and easily done for them. So I'm gonna turn on my blow dryer real quick. High, we're gonna do high heat, high speed for her. And I'm gonna tell my clients, pretend like you're in a wind tunnel. Just blast everything away from your face. That's gonna start to kick all of these hairs in the front up and away. So we're going for a little bit of a bigger, bouncier, but lighter blowout. And as this starts to shift in shape, Again, what we know is that my emotional connection to this haircut is lightweight. I said something earlier about an emotion to things. And especially now, you know, clients are feeling a little bit heavier emotionally. Things are looking good on the horizon, but a lot of people have been through a lot. A lot of people could use some uplifting. So everything with this haircut was focused on being soft and lightweight. Higher elevation, softer fall. So we're gonna keep her in the wind tunnel from the front and just keep blowing things away from her face. Now we're gonna get this drier towards the ends. Now as this starts to dry for us, we wanna make sure that that root is dry. Now here's where the benefit of working different elements of the industry help us. Hairstylists, we are so techni technically driven and we're so habitual, we're creatures of habit. Our techniques and our, our foundations, we repeat and create consistency with it, so it's a great thing. But knowing what not to do is equally as important. So we're not gonna take a big round brush to her hair right now. We're gonna let this dry by pushing up and giving some volume and twisting on the side, and we're gonna heat this up. If we're looking for a soft finish, but we don't want hot tools, she could do this and then let her hair just sit as is. We're gonna heat it up and continue drying it here. So for those of you just joining, again, welcome. My name is Drew Schaefering, Brooklyn-based hairstylist here, L'Oreal professional artist, creator and owner of Crux. And we are working on the crux of your work. So it's all about what is it that makes you as an artist who you are? And by definition, Crux is a decisive turning point in a process. So with the crux of the work here is where we started the haircut. We started this haircut in the front by giving her face framing layers that are appropriate for what she wants, pulling her, her hair in front, keeping the length as most of our clients do. And then we softly layered it, graduated layers pulled towards the face based off of the length of the face framing. And now we are giving her the ability to power dry and twist and heat that hair up to kind of set that twist in. So no longer are we having to use a brush, a round brush, and then a, a curling iron to enhance it. The haircut's giving it the lightweight feel. And this is giving her an added style element that's making life so much easier for her. So we're now gonna take this front right quadrant and we're gonna start twisting it away from her face. Can I have somebody type something in the chat box just because I feel like it may have frozen on me. I wanna make sure that you guys are still here. So we're rolling down, twisting it, bringing it towards the face and twisting away.
So I hope all of you are still there. I think my chat box might have frozen because I don't see anything new coming in. So if you're asking questions or saying anything, I'm not replying. It's just simply because I'm not seeing it right now. So we're gonna continue power drying this in the back, letting the front cool the same way that we're letting our hot set over there with the hot rollers cool off. We're just getting the moisture out of the hair after we put the transformer gel to loosen our hair. Lightweight, foamy, airy gel that gives us a lot of volume and bounce in the hair. It's not too sticky at all. The other mousse that we used was the Techniart Volume NB Extra. And that's gonna give us a lot more grip, a lot more polymer build up, a lot more volume out of it. So last section here. Working, pulling it towards the side and then twisting away. So in the workshop with L'Oreal Professional, the crux of your work, we're gonna be going over a lot of different approaches to our artistry. Why we do what we do, why we need to start haircuts or styles in a certain section. We're gonna kind of challenge that. And a big part of the process is figuring out your own journey, what works for you. As I said earlier, when we get to be creative and change the way we look at things, they often change. And even if it's an exercise that isn't directly even on hair sometimes, it changes our creativity and changes how we can work behind the chair. So we're gonna let that sit. Remember, hair is a pliable, pliable fabric. It needs to heat to change and it needs to cool in that position. All right. So simple haircut, face framing layers dictated the length and the layering. The length is just like most of our clients. They want to keep it. So we worked from the face framing, directing everything towards the face, applied some of the L'Oreal Professional Techni Art Transformer Gel to mousse in the ends and in the roots a little bit, and then power dried it. Now back to our original. So for those of you guys joining us now, my name is Drew Schaefering. If you are typing in the chat box, I can't see it at the moment because my chat box is frozen. So I hope that you can still see me. And in this mannequin here, what we've done is we've prepped her with L'Oreal Professionals Volume Envy Extra Mousse first, the thickest, most volumizing building mousse that we have in the arsenal. And then we took an individual sections and prepped it with L'Oreal Professionals Infinium 3 before we put the hot rollers in. And again, the reason for the hot rollers was so that we can build this volume and let it sit. The biggest difference that I'm finding, and I'm, I find I'm using hot rollers more and more when I'm building a lot of texture on set, is because it allows that heat to sit in there much longer and we get this out of it. We get a much stronger curl. If you don't have hot rollers, that's okay. We can still go in with a curling iron and create the same texture by wrapping it up the same way we did just without the rollers. Now, had we not applied the mousse and the, the hairspray before, that the hair wouldn't have the same type of shape to it. It wouldn't have the same grip and build up. So the body is built up from the product and then the heat applied to the product in the hair. And the crux of this work right here is all about just building a bigger shape to it. We're gonna play with it and just create shape, building texture and shape. So we have the option we have a lot of options. We can go through and brush it out and create a wave set from it. We can build it up and do something a little bit more of an updo, whether it's soft, firm, hard. But even looking from the side, oh, there we go, the chat's back on. Your passion pair comes across. Thank you so much, Aisha. You know, 
I think we're all passionate about hair, aren't we? But more importantly, I'm passionate about getting creative with it and not being put in the box that so many of us get stuck in. That's part of the reason why I started Crux and why I'm offering the Crux for your work with L'Oreal, with L'Oreal Professional. I think it's so important that we continue to push ourselves because day to day we're just stuck in our own patterns so much. Welcome Irene, welcome Linda, Maria, everybody. Nahid, what's going on? For those of you just joining, we're getting into the crux of your work and we are pulling out these hot rollers that we prepped the hair with L'Oreal Professionals Volume and Be Extra, the thick polymer, heavy volumizing mousse, and then sprayed each section with the Techni Art Infinium 4. So it's gonna give strong hold, but it's gonna have a brush ability to it. We can brush this out if we want. So look at the volume that we created. We just created a lot of volume and texture in through here. And the crux of my work is gonna be different from the crux of your work. You're gonna be able to take this and create something totally different. I'm going to take a wide tooth comb now. So normally I prefer to work with, where can you purchase hot rollers? Uh, I think online, now. you can get them pretty much anywhere. So normally I'm working with the Crux long white comb when I'm cutting and styling. This is the time where I'm gonna pick up more of a wide tooth comb because I wanna kind of brush these curls out but I don't wanna pull them out. I just wanna separate them and start to get them to do this. So just nice and soft, we're gonna to start to separate this a little bit. And I'm gonna, we're gonna create something more along the lines of what I would be doing for a, a shoot. You know, when we talk about editorial work, it's all about being creative and it's relying on what we know to be true about hair and getting creative with how we utilize all of that. So editorial is usually more creative, pushing the envelope, getting in there. And we're using this wide tooth comb so that we don't pull out too much of the curl. And if we do, that's okay. We'll, it will adjust the shape as we go. Welcome everybody. My name is Drew Schaefer. For those of you who've been watching since the beginning, sorry, you gotta keep hearing me say that. I am a L'Oreal professional artist, owner and creator of Crux, Brooklyn-based hairstylist. And today we're talking about the crux of your work and how we work as hairstylists day to day behind the chair or even maybe not behind the chair. Maybe you're in a different capacity. Maybe you're a stylist on, the, on freelance and you're doing more of the work that I'm doing. But how do we stay creative? And how do we continue to push ourselves and build things? So we built this volume and this curl with hot rollers using mousse. Carolyn, thanks for jumping on, I appreciate you. How do we build something new out of this? So now I'm gonna put down the white tooth comb and pick up my crux comb. And let's start to just use some teasing and some different techniques to build some shape. The product's in there. The shape and the texture's in there. Now we just gotta mold it. So now we, we kinda take off our technical hat in terms of building exactly what we know and let's build something different. So I'm gonna, I want this to kinda sit out square. So I'm gonna take this bottom section. I'm gonna take the fine teeth of my comb and I'm just gonna start to tease this in at the nape of the neck so that this builds out. And we're just gonna keep starting to work the base of this foundation. And this is something we're gonna learn and talk a little bit more about at the Loyal Professional Academy next year. So we have a lot of different education offerings coming next year. We have a new cutting certification a lot of color balayage, French balayage, creative color classes, as well as kind of unique artist classes that some of the L'Oreal professional artists have created, like mine, Crux of Your Work, where it's a little bit more of a free reign creativity. It allows you to kind of push what you do and do things a little bit different. So I'm starting to like this shape coming out. And again, we're going for something that's very, very different here. We're not doing a traditional updo. We could take it and do that, but let's push it, because why not? This is the only time we get the chance to. So let's keep building this shape up. And I'm working very loosely. I'm not taking super clean partings. 
just so that I can see what I'm working on because we don't want to really pull the, the curl out too much. So I'm going to keep lifting. The higher the elevation as we tease, the higher the foundation of the structure is going to be. So I'm using the fine teeth of my comb and I'm really getting in there now. When we tease, if we tease from up here, we're really packing that shape in tight. And if we tease looser, it gives us a looser effect. So let's, let's go to the sides now. And this is part of all of our creative process. You know, working with L'Oreal professionals, fantastic. I've been with them for 12 and a half of the 13 years I've been in the industry. And we're able to push our creativity with the use of the products that they offer. So Techniart is a range that I have been very close to since day one. I helped to relaunch it a few years ago back in Barcelona. I've been on the team that continued to help reformulate and test the new formulations. So it has a, uh, a close relationship to my work. And when I'm working on set, it's my, my product of choice for sure. So I'm gonna actually get this to kind of come back. So we're gonna really pack this in and tighten it. So you can see I'm using the fine teeth my comb and really going into that. You know, we have all this curl we can still play with. And then once we tease it, we can still smooth out that top surface. So I'm starting to like what this is doing here. I'm starting to build this out. And what do we have to do with this? That's okay, we can kind of keep teasing it up. So welcome everybody who's watching. We are working on a texture of hair that was set with hot rollers on a base or a foundation of Volume NB Extra from L'Oreal Professionals Techniart. And we set it in hot rollers to let that curl and that texture really sit in there. Using my Crux Clips, they don't leave an indentation in it. They have the little silicone band in the middle. So let's keep pulling this back and away from the face. And again, I'm using my fine teeth and my comb and really packing that tight. So coming from farther away and really packing that. My comb's actually bending as I do that. Earlier we did a little quick haircut by changing where we work on the head shape. Part of the crux of your work and part of the crux brand that I'm the creator and owner of it's kind of questioning the norms. And as hairstylists, we are taught so often to replicate and copy. We're not taught to create for ourselves. So as I'm creating this, I'm just going with it. We're just kind of no expectations. When you create without expectation, it allows you to experience and explore and kind of find different things. So here we're just smoothing that out a little bit. We're gonna be lifting this up. And then we'll kind of probably lift that up in that shape. So this is something that, you know, this might not be for a salon client coming in for a wedding, clearly. Maybe it is, cool. Uh, we'll see when we finish. But it's about exploring our creativity and our process. So I'm continuing to use the fine teeth of the comb and really building a high cushion. So I just tease that all the way up to there. Dressing hair is a must to get clients back. Aisha, I feel you. I think dressing hair is a, uh, it's a lost art. For the past several years, even behind the chair, you know, most of us behind the chair, we know how to do a great blowout. But can we give our clients something different outside of picking up a round brush? and giving them the traditional blowout. And I think that's the question, and that's part of the crux of our work. What is the crux of yours? What are you doing for your clients? 
what are you doing for yourself, more importantly? And that's something we'll continue to get into more at the Loyal Professional Academy next April. So now this is going kind of a direction that I'm liking. And we're gonna let this, this front bit here be a little bit looser so that we can have a little bit more coverage of texture. So we're gonna build this shape up a little bit more in the front. And again, I'm trying to be pretty loose. I don't wanna comb all of the texture out. It's in there really well. From the Volume Envy Extra Mousse and the Hot Rollers. And you can see, well, look at my comb. It's actually, it has some flex to it as we're teasing. So we're really getting in there. Don't you wish all clients would allow our creative juices to flow? Yes, Carolyn, I do. But that's the goal, right? To do something so well that your clients can't help but to just let you go with it. And whether it's a client in the chair, whatever, whoever your client is, right? So here I'm gonna tease this a little bit differently because I wanna activate and get a little bit more of this curl. So shape-wise, let's see what we're, what's happening. So we've got a lot, a lot of height, a lot of volume. Let's start to smooth this back a little bit. So I'm just very gently using the wide teeth of my comb and starting to kind of smooth some of this hair. I'm not worried about it looking smooth and perfect. I'm just building, creating, and playing. And as a part of crux and the crux of your work, that's a big element that our industry continues to need is finding what it is that gets your creativity going so that when you step away from your haircuts that we're doing behind the chair in the salon, we're able to revisit them with a fresh set of eyes and a new mindset. So here's a little split right here, here's a little tip. So if we're teasing and we get a little split, just pinch and grab that and tease those two sections together. And they'll stay together a little bit more. Okay, so before we finish the front, I'm gonna go to the back. And I'm gonna take all of these little loose bits. And we're gonna go from the ends and we're gonna tease them up and into the hair. And we're gonna be spraying a lot of the extreme lacquer from L'Oreal Professionals, the hairspray, which is the strongest, gives much more of a finality to it. It's much harder to brush out. So we started with Infinium 4. It's a great working product. And we're gonna finish with the, uh, the stuff that isn't gonna let it move as much. Great for updos, weddings, anytime we wanna make sure that that Hair is going to stay exactly where we put it. So again, I'm not worried right now about the curls looking perfect. And I'm creating a bit of fuzz towards the ends because we're just going to really hairspray and get this in here and start to shape this. Thank you, Aisha. Thanks for watching. You've been on here the whole time. I appreciate you. Sorry you've heard me say my name in crux of your work 32 times, but... You're gonna hear it one more time. My name is Drew Schaffering, for those of you joining. And uh, we are working on the crux of your work. And what that is, is it is an approach and a class that I have with L'Oreal Professional next year on April 18th of 2022 at the L'Oreal Professional Academy in Soho. And it's all about, so as I continue, I'm gonna tease on this side so I don't continue more teasing here. It's all about what makes you who you are as an artist and why do we start where you start with processes and why do you do what you do? So these long bits, let's push that back in. I'm okay with that. We're gonna let this sit, we're gonna kick this up. Would one of you type in the chat box what time it is? Because I can't see the time on my phone and I forgot to set up an extra clock. So I need to make sure that we're continuing to stay on time here. So if you would type what time it is for you and what time zone you're in, I'd appreciate that. 
We all love what you're doing. Thank you, Nahid. Uh, hairdressing over 40 years, and it's good to see dressing out. Thank you, Sharon. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, being a part of what I do day to day with L'Oreal Professional. Thanks, Susie. Um, you know, it's something that I do also behind the, the chair, but then backstage, I get to do a lot of that work. So I am really lacquering this in with the Extreme Lacquer from L'Oreal Professional. This is the strongest hold hairspray that the brand has in its portfolio. And again, this is meant to set the style and solidify it. We don't want this to go anywhere. And part of the crux of your work is breaking out of the norms. So this is way more hairspray than a lot of us would use on say a client behind the chair. But the magic trick is I'm gonna take, put my Dyson on, use my tail comb and I'm gonna start to press this shape in. And I'm heating it up with the diffuser and that extreme lacquer is just kind of searing and creating a little bit of like a cellophane shape or cellophane wrap to what we're doing. Let's go from underneath, kind of press this in. Using the tail comb. Putting the hair after spray, so Patrick can. <laughs> hey, you know, you do what works, right? And Patrick Cameron is the, you know, man who knew how to work, knows how to work hair very well. And it's all about just manipulating the hair. Wester, what's up, Joy? Welcome. So we're gonna wrap things up here in a minute. But again, my name is Drew Schaefering, L'Oreal professional artist, Brooklyn-based hairstylist. We're playing with the crux of your work today. What is it that gets you creative and outside of your day-to-day? -day? So as this shape is starting to come in, let's now take these front bits. And we're just gonna kind of separate them. So I'm gonna take individual pieces I'm gonna take my wide teeth and my comb and I'm just gonna kind of back comb tease it a little bit. So I wanna create a little bit of a softer feel. I don't wanna see the hair as individual clumps. I wanna see them kind of splay out. Again, just kind of like back stroking into the hair. And again, this is all about just building shape. We built the texture in with L'Oreal Professionals Volume and Be Extra. We now are setting it in after putting Infinium 4 in it and letting it sit on hot rollers. Rhonda, you're right, it is a mess. And that's part of the fun of creating, is we are creating a, a new texture, trying something different and seeing what works and what we want to keep and what doesn't. And that's one of the challenges of hairdressing. It's how do we, as hairstylists, experiment and explore and find out what works for us. And for somebody, maybe it's like a, a red carpet client, a wedding client, this might be too much of a mess. But for somebody like myself, who does a lot of photo shoots and editorial, this might be exactly what is needed. And if I never pushed it and tried it, I wouldn't know how to create this. And that's the beautiful part about creativity and hairdressing. Creativity is not a competition and art's very subjective, right? You can't create art or create for the sake of perfection or winning. Because it's all subjective. What one person loves, another person's gonna dislike. And next April, 8, April 18th, 2022, the crux of your work, we're gonna explore what is it that gets you creative and allows you to stay working in different ways, seeing things in new lights for your, for your own clients.
Susie, you're right. It would be super easy to create a smooth version. You do everything I did, just smooth it out. And I like creating things that I haven't always seen before, especially when we get the opportunity to do something unique and different. And again, we're, we're creating kind of like almost the way that that plastic feel would, would go around saran wrap, would kind of like go in and melt. That's what we're using, doing with the extreme lacquer. So right here, I don't like this split. So I'm gonna stretch that hair over it and heat it with that extreme lacquer. And then let's create a little bend right there too. Thanks, Matthew. So looking from the front, so from far away, we got a cool shape going, right? Not for every occasion, every individual, but it's something that we, as artists, need to continue to push the boundaries and try different things. That's right, Danny, thank you, you know? That's what all of us should do. If we don't create something every now and then that looks unique and different, then what are we doing? So we could continue playing with this. As we all know, we could continue playing for hours on here and we could lift this and create something totally different there. We could even try to start brushing it out and adjusting things, but this is kind of the world that we're living in for this shape. I don't like this little bit. So let's take just a little bobby pin, and we're just gonna tuck that up. And that's the great part about once you build that texture and that heat into those shapes, it's there. Hairstylists are sometimes not confident enough to be creative. Too much commercial hair sign, not creativity. Sharon, I, don't, I can't agree with you more. And that's part of the crux of your work. That's my passion with crux. It's also with the, the uh, class at L'Oreal Professional next year. Is how do you just start creating? Get out of the box that we're put in as far as the timing, scheduling, expectations with clients, being creative, running your own business, being your own social media manager, etc., And just create. Aisha, thank you so much for joining. Appreciate you. So, okay, last thing we're gonna do is let's look at the waves we created for our client just by twisting and wrapping the hair away from the face. So for that client that doesn't wanna do their hair, we're able to do a, a, ba a haircut based off the face framing, allowed us to get our layers from the face frame. We added built the length and the weight towards the back by distributing previous sections towards the face. Then we added L'Oreal Professionals gel to mousse transformer, primarily through the ends, and we twisted it. We talked earlier, a lot of clients are not wanting to pick up the round brush, have that traditional feel all the time or have to do that work. So how can they literally do next to nothing maybe even sleep on their hair like this if they sleep like a mummy. Not like me, I sleep with my hair standing straight up when I wake up. But something soft, easy, with a little bit of light product through there, the gel transformer mousse is giving us that beautiful wave. Super easy, you can do that from wet to dry. Pull those front forward pieces, twist away, same thing in the back. This is great for men with long hair, don't wanna get the hot tools left. Danny, you're right, it is great. Great way to add texture and put it in. Well, everybody, I want to join or I want to thank you for.